Okay, we're going to talk about transitioning now to subtraction. And this is always the piece that gets most confusing, which is why we talked about the fact that we want to make sure we are solid with addition. Okay, so looking at the first problem, I have negative 4 plus negative 3. Now, remember we talked about uh, doing that. I would start at 4. Okay, so I'm at negative 4. And I'm adding three more negatives. And my answer is negative seven. Okay. And that is, you know, we did that and you should be pretty well mastered that. So let's look at this one. Now I'm saying instead of adding negative three, I'm subtracting positive three. So let's look what that is. That would be I start at negative four. And I'm subtracting. So we know subtracting goes to the left, right? Subtracting is to the left. And I'm going to subtract positive 3. 1, 2, 3. So you see, it is, you get the same answer. So adding negative 3 and subtracting positive 3 is the same process. You're going to get the same answer. Let's look at the problems to the right. Now I'm starting at a positive. So I'm starting at positive 3, okay? And we talked about adding uh, signs that were different. I'm adding a negative. So a negative goes in the negative direction. I'm going two negatives, and my answer is positive 1, okay? So... The, the bottom is, I've, I'm now, instead of adding a negative, I'm subtracting a positive. I'm at three, and this is exactly, I mean, this is a problem you would have done in, I don't know, first, second grade. Three minus two is three, and subtraction goes to the left, two spaces, and my answer is one. So the message here, the, the rule to remember is that the rule is adding a negative, so adding a negative is the same as and you're writing this too, same as subtracting a positive. Okay, if I'm adding a negative, it's subtracting, really, because the, the negative is sending me to the left in a subtracting direction. So that is the rule if I am adding a negative or subtracting a positive. They are interchangeable. I get the same answer. So there I am. I'm, I'm subtracting a positive. So I've transitioned from adding a negative to subtracting a positive, the same exact thing. At the bottom, we're talking about doing something else. So let's look at this first problem. I have negative 2 plus 1. So remember we talked about we start at the first number, negative 2, and plus 1 is in the positive direction. Okay, so my answer is negative 1. And I know that because there's two more negative. There's a, one more negative than a positive, so I have one, one more negative, and that's negative one. And I was adding, so I was going in a positive direction. Now, this is, the, this is the one that is somewhat confusing to people. What if I'm subtracting a negative? So I'm going to start at negative two, and I'm, I think I'm subtracting, right? So I'm going to the left, but no, wait, wait. I'm subtracting a negative. That means that that I'm undoing or I'm subtracting the negative. I'm taking away that negative and that becomes a positive. So I'm taking away the negative. So it's I'm now going in a positive direction and that number that answer is also negative 1. Okay, so I have I have uh, put that together. I uh, that those two negative signs together make a positive. Okay, I am taking away 
that negative sign. So it's, it's adding. Let's do it one more time. Uh, in the problem next to it, if I start at negative 3 and I add 2, I'm going in the positive direction. I'm adding a positive. I go 2 in the positive direction, and my answer is negative 1. This problem down here now, now I'm taking away that negative. Remember, I'm taking away the negative, okay? So that is turning that into a positive. I'm starting at negative three, and I'm taking away the subtraction. I'm taking away, I'm not subtracting, I'm taking away that they, they um, negate each other. Uh, they cross each other out. So that negative undoes the subtraction. So now I'm adding two to negative three, and my answer is negative one. And so the rule there is, um, subtracting a negative is the same as as adding a positive. And a little coming down the hill there. Adding a positive. Okay, so um, this we're gonna do a lot of practice with this. Um, hopefully you are able to make that transition from sub subtraction and how it works with addition, but we're gonna be doing a lot of practice with it. So we'll see how that goes. Remember that if I'm adding a negative, it's the same as subtracting a positive. Adding a negative puts me in the subtracting direction. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive because I'm, I'm undoing or subtracting. I'm subtracting that negative. I'm getting rid of that negative sign and it's becoming positive. So that is adding a positive.